Life Audio. Hi, friends. Welcome to Breathe, the Stressless Podcast. And I'm Bonnie Gray. I'm your soul care guide for this time that's just for you to pause and breathe in God's peace and his love for you. And I'll share a special soul care tip that's a simple action you can take so that you can do something loving for your emotions and your body based on science and inspired by scripture. I want to invite you to pick up a copy of my new book, Breathe, 21 Days to Stressless and Transform Chaos to Calm because fall is here. Kids are going back to school, and even though we're not students, we may be parents, and it's going to be super busy, can I dare to say chaotic, and even if we don't have children that are in school, a lot of our work rhythms are also connected to fall, because as people come back from summer break and vacation, a lot of our work is also focused on a lot of demands It starts getting super busy as everybody comes back from summer season. So it's so important. The question we're going to ask today is, is leisure time laziness? How do you feel about this, friend? This whole concept to create leisure time, even in the midst of chaos or busyness or stressful things that demand so much of your energy, is it even reasonable And is it that important that we create leisure time? This is the topic we want to talk about today because we're going to find that God values leisure time. Now, one of the things that happened to me this week is I got COVID. Yes, I did. Now, if I had to record this podcast episode at the beginning of catching COVID, I would not be talking with you. We'd have to skip a week because the first five days, the first three days especially, they're very, very painful. If you've had it, the sore throat is so painful, the coughing, and it's just exhausting, among other symptoms. But I'm at the tail end of the quarantine, so I'm feeling much better. And as you can hear from my voice, I'm able to chat with you and to give you this week's loving scripture and encourage you to do something this week that has to do with leisure time, especially at things go chaotic. So I want to pick up, have you pick up a copy of this book. I invite you because when you have these daily reminders as you're reading this book, it'll help strengthen your heart and to remind you that you're God's beloved and there are actually things you can do. One of the things that happened to me in having COVID is that I again lost my sense of taste and smell. And it reminded me how important it is. It's so hard to enjoy something we often take for granted. It's just enjoying food and eating and meals. So much of what God has given us in the natural ways he wants us to enjoy the world created is through eating. Eating, yes, food. And it reminded me of this beautiful verse in Psalm 34, 8. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Taste and see that the Lord is good. And this is an invitation, a reminder that it is so important to live life in a way where we can experience God's goodness. Yes, we want to know his truth in our minds intellectually, but We need to experience God's peace, experience his love, and we have to do it in a way that's real and practical. And that means we need to make space and time for leisure. So I cannot wait to jump into this topic with you because it's so important if we're just carried away by the white water of chaos and the world's pressures and the everyday demands, we would just get drained and We cannot give out what we don't refill in. So thank you for joining today. And after break from our sponsors, we'll be able to breathe in and renew God's peace.
Hey everybody, I'm Dale. And I'm Tamara. And we're hosts of the Kynos Project podcast. Where we help you tackle ancient Christian truths in everyday settings. The word Kynos means new, and that's exactly what we want to do on our podcast. Bring something new from what is old in our faith. And on this show, you might hear us explore topics like what the Bible has to say about student loan forgiveness, discuss how the satanic temple affects our view of religious liberty in America, or even question why is it that so many people are having rapture anxiety. To learn more about the podcast, go to lifeaudio.com. So sometimes when we're overwhelmed with all the things that are new beginnings, especially for those of us who may have many responsibilities, maybe in ministry or in parenting or for our parents, in our relationships or for work, it is so easy to just go into survival mode. And I want to ask you, what would make this fall fabulous for you? Not just a time of surviving, but fabulous. I'm curious, you know, a lot of times we have a lot of different goals. And no matter what our goals are, I don't think any of us wants to have stress. And no, none of us wants to have more anger, sadness, fear, right? These are not emotions we want to have more of. We want to have more positive emotions like joy and peace, Now, we shouldn't neglect something that God has put into each of us that will help us to have more positive emotions, and that is interest and curiosity. You see the way God has wired our nervous system? When we're under stress, our bodies move into a stress mode where cortisol is being released, and that's when we have anxious thoughts And we begin to see our bodies respond by not sleeping well. And we start to feel the stress. But we have an ability in the way God created our our nervous system to activate the rest response. Now, many times we think that if we need rest, we just do nothing. (laughs) But actually, those of you who have been following this Soul Care podcast will understand that we can activate this rest response, releasing the good hormones that God wants us to experience. We do it by taking simple actions, not by doing nothing. And one of the key things we can do is to have leisure time. The Greek word for leisure is skoholi. And in Latin, the word is skola. Does this sound familiar? Scola, that is the root word of school. That's how we get the word school. So in other words, leisure is about learning. So one way to really boost your body's feel-good hormone, it's called dopamine. It gets you motivated. Feeling motivated is to learn something, to have a recreational activity where you feel like you're learning. Now, learning isn't just about book learning. So it's not academic learning. It's about doing some things where you're learning something new that you can do with your hands. Maybe it's music, maybe it's a craft and I don't know what it is, or it might be learning about gardening, maybe something you've always wanted to do, but it's never made to the top of the list. And all the things that are actually good for us that God put in us, the interest comes from God. It's the way he created you as his beloved daughter and son. For those of us who are parents, we need to understand that the things that help our children become more stress resilient are the same things that help us. And that's having some leisure time where we can do things that seem interesting to us, where we're learning something new. So I want to ask you, what is something new that you've always been curious to maybe try or learn? And something even recently that you've been wanting to do, or maybe you've been wanting to do it for a few years now, but it just never seems to make it up higher in the list because there's other people that are demanding your attention, other problems, other stresses, 
or health challenges. And yet that is exactly what God has put in us that will help refill us. What is that for you? And I want to just share with you, it's just powerful scripture that really supports this importance of having leisure time, having leisure time to learn. Remember the root word of leisure is learning. It's the joy of learning. And in fact, the brain, there's a study where there's an MRI that was taken when people are learning something. Well, the part of their brain that lights up, it shows that it responds to high level of activity and it releases extra dopamine. And that's the hormone that makes you feel motivated instead of feeling down. So it's important that we have things in our lives. We have time in our schedule to have leisure. And in order to make that time useful to lower stress, we focus it on learning something new. And it can be something that maybe you've just put down or neglected for a while, but God is saying it's time for you to pick it up again. So let's breathe in. Let's breathe in Psalm 119.10. With my whole heart, I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. And so our breath prayer today, we're going to inhale. I seek you with my whole heart. Exhale. Don't let me wander from your commands. The root word for seek is actually involves the element of learning, that we're learning how to seek God and find him and understand him with all our hearts. So the seeking involves learning that helps motivate us. And so we're going to breathe in. I seek you with all my heart. (sighs) Exhale. Don't let me wander from your commands. Inhale. I seek you with my whole heart. Exhale. Don't let me wander from your commands. It's a beautiful breath prayer. I seek you with all my heart. Don't let me wander from your commands. What is that that can activate your heart to enjoy learning and seeking? This is not trivial. Hey, everybody. I'm Dale. And I'm Tamara. We're hosts of the Kainos Project podcast. Where we help you tackle ancient Christian truths in everyday settings. To learn more and subscribe, go to lifeaudio.com. You know, initially, when we look at scripture, when Jesus first started his ministry, there were some people that were very interested in asking him, where do you live? These were John's disciples. And what happened was Jesus responded by saying, come and see. In other words, he's saying, come into my world. I want you to see where I live. I want you to spend time with me. And even scripture says that they stayed until the 10th hour, which is four o'clock. They stayed with them the whole day. Jesus didn't say, take up your cross. Jesus didn't say, please do what I tell you to do. No. When Jesus wanted people to begin a relationship with him and experience him, he says, come and see, let's spend some time together. So friend, I just want you to think about how can you spend time with Jesus in leisure time, learning something new. Not only will you feel God's presence as you seek him together, doing something relaxing together, you will also experience your body getting that extra boost of dopamine to breathe out the negative feelings and breathe in those positive feelings. So friend, we will meet next time and our next show, I'm going to talk about how as parents, we can support our kids in being stress resilient. And remember to pick up a copy of my book, Breathe 21 Days to Stressless and Transform Chaos to Calm. And there's a soul care quiz. You can go to soulcarequiz.com also to see which area of wellness that you may want to focus on as a new fall begins. And I'm going to come up with a new series here as we begin the fall to help boost you 
and motivate you and support and encourage you using scripture and science. Remember that you're loved, you're cherished. Just rest. I'll see you next time. Breathe, the Stress Less podcast is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. God's Word will change our life, but sometimes it's hard to know where to start. Well, that's where I come in. I'm Jody Nisnik, host of So Much More, Creating Space for God, a scripture meditation podcast. And each week, I guide you through a scripture, giving you space to listen to the Spirit and pray about what's on your heart. Then we have a thoughtful conversation with guests to help us go deeper. Listen and subscribe at lifeaudio.com.